Warning! This game contains graphic features which may be disturbing to some viewers. If you are easily offended by this kind of stuff, please just go away. Thanks. How's it going, mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we are back with Sketchbook. Now, previously, not much happened. Not much happened at all, except some bread girl kind of went to heaven, which was nice. Um, we got all these officers together. They're from all the previous chapters. And I guess this is coming to some kind of ultimatum. Something's going to happen. What's going to happen? We're about to see. Or, well, maybe we're not gonna about to see, but eventually we're going to see. All right, so, hey, this is a bit weird. You are getting too flustered. Keep it cool. Oh my, so many officers just to answer questions I have. Hmm. Uh, hold on, which one's Gil? I'm guessing that's the little girl, which I don't remember her voice either. Great. What's wrong with that? A proper send-off wouldn't kill you. Hmm. Uh, I think this is middle left. God, there's so many names. By the way, Gil and Tina are fantastic examples of side effects from the Academy. Okay. Does that have something to do with the fact there's no life in those eyes? That's just cruelty? Mmm. <laughs> that, that sums that up. Gil lost most of his memory and Tina stopped aging. Alright, someone's found the secret to eternal youth. Become a police officer. Well, fair enough. I mean, uh, you're gonna look good when you're 60, trust me. What is that supposed to mean? I did lose most of my memories prior to becoming an officer, however Tina is just short. Oh wait, no, Gil is the man. I did lose most of my memories prior to becoming an officer, however Tina is just short. That had nothing to do with training. What the hell? By the way, on your form you didn't have anything signed by your parents, where are they? Oh no, they work. I see, they work. Uh, uh... The officers, instead of answering questions, argued over Tina's height. I mean, it is it is a first world issue we have. Tina needs to grow up. Mm. What's the matter? It's a little strange that so many officers are talking to me all at once. I kind of agree, but you're smiling about it. Why are you smiling? It's suspicious. Yeah, you're still smiling. It was a little funny how they were all officers we have met recently, too. I wouldn't worry though, you didn't do anything this time. Yeah, you didn't kill any animals on the street and then be like, oh look, Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, lucky you. Uh, okay, then what happened? Mm, I was expecting people to be here. Oh no, it's all gonna come tumbling down now. It's gonna turn out we had spies all along and we're gonna, we're gonna kill your sock. Officers are busy, right? You can't expect them to have time for you every day. I guess, but still suspicious. That's right, maybe I am overthinking things. No, you're not. Something's gonna happen. Yeah, don't worry about the thing. As long as we are together, it'll be okay, buddy. Yeah, will it? Yeah, so, as long as we are together. Hmm, let's see if we can um, iron this sock to death. One of you two are dead, I know it. This is going too badly. Well, not badly, but... Everything's very morbid. You're right. Of course. There isn't really a point of us staying here if no one is around, though. Let's head back. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the music stopped. Who's gonna die? Who's gonna get executed? Who's gonna get found out? Is someone going to lose their memory? Oh, officer, you did show up. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, here we go. I am placing you in custody. You are to return to your home with me for investigation. What? Oh, wait, is this something to do with the parents, maybe? Please do not run away. That will be seen as an admission of guilt, and I will execute immediately. Alright, cool. What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. Why do I feel anxious like this? I think because Rooster's meant to be Beef's conscience. Maybe Beef did do something? Okay. Beef? I am sorry we lied to you. We have actually been staking you out the last few days. Yep, yeah, uh, well, I knew something was up there. Something was wrong. No parents? Be involved so many cases in just a few months' time? We entered your home. Please come with me now. Oh, she knows she's been found out. How's this gonna go down? 
Oh, Beef, what have you done? Oh, okay. It was horrible. Has she killed her parents? Okay. Inside one of the closets were the remains of Beef's parents. Well, we've done worse. Bone and tattered cloth took up most of the closet space. The skeletons seemed to have bones missing, like they were slowly being removed. Alright, I wonder what the origin story is behind that. What? What is this? Yeah, I, I thought we'd have more of an upbeat first before it went absolutely terrible, but... Alright, cool. Beef? Mm. Oh dear. When we went near your home to check around, we noticed the strong smell of decay. Oh, and I guess Rooster wouldn't smell that because he has no nose? I guess. We had probable cause to enter without a warrant. I guess. While doing a quick sweep, we found the bodies, although they are far too decayed to find a cause of death now. Well, how do you know they're, like, bodies? How do you know maybe it's not, like... Because it's just skeletons. Maybe we're just keeping them for a teacher. You don't know. Why were these bodies hidden? How long have they been here? Judging by what's left of the bones, I'd say a few centuries. I don't have a nose. Oh, I knew it'd be that. I can't believe I never noticed this before. It was all right in front of me and I missed it. Beef, don't worry. We will figure this out now and talk about it later. We have to get out of this somehow. I don't know what you did, but we can work it out together. Four officers, one building, found the body. Okay. Oh. The bodies have been there for months. Okay. This monster, he showed up and made me kill my parent. Oh, come on, really? All right, let's see where this goes. What? <laughs> uh, I'm surprised you're not being executed on the spot there. Oh, and now we're here. I don't know what they call this, but I guess this is the battle mode. I was so afraid no one would believe me. Beef, what are you saying? Yeah, that is a lie. He is made of some weird magic. Everything he feels, I feel. Oh, is she going to blame it on Rooster? That's not true. I explained it to you. So you admit there is magic where you feel one another's feelings? Well, yes. See, I'm not wrong. Hear me out. All I wanted was to go to the academy and make my parents proud. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Then he showed up. Had me poison my parents and watch them rot in my own home. Lovely. There is no damage to the bones, so there was no trauma. Poison is a possibility. Alright. Beef, what are you doing? I am afraid, and I am sad, and I am anxious. Is this me or her? I don't know. I don't... Is she doing this literally to save herself? Because she's being quite merciless. I got involved in so many cases to get an officer's attention without him noticing. Alright, please save me. I'm so afraid. I think I would be too if I had a monster tailing me. Yeah, that's definitely it. I'm not a monster. I'm your conscience, your friend. What are you talking about? How would I ever be friends with a monster? I mean, yeah, look at that face. Pure criminal there. Beef, please, it's not too late. We can think of another way. Yeah, but there isn't, is there? Oh, this is tragic. I have to admire Beef's fast thinking, even though she's being a goddamn bitch. Officers, please, just one look and you know I'm telling the truth. And I also can't spell. Well, I, I said spell, but it was actually grammar. Like, you need a little apostrophe there. I can feel him right now. He is getting angry. If we don't do something soon, who knows what will happen? Mm-hmm. Beef. It's okay. I get it now. There was no way for her to get out of this. No one else to blame. Oh, no. Uh, was it really? Is this really worth it to become an officer? Although I feel no remorse or sadness from you, what was I to you this whole time? Was I really just a monster? Was I really your best friend? Oh, that's nice and gay. What was the point of me even being here? You were like besties. You dressed up as a human. You... <laughs> you got to see Jacob's ladder. Mm -mm. Fool human, you will never be able to defeat me. Well, they might guillotine a sock. It's possible. What are you doing? In this situation, it would be either me or you. What's the point of just me living on? I came here for you. 
I know I didn't have much impact on you, but if I can at least get you out of a corner in the end... Oh, is he actually gonna... He's gonna willingly sacrifice himself. This, this rooster, this, this sock is going to get an Emmy for this, I swear. Just such good acting skills. Or maybe an Oscar. Yeah, an Oscar makes more sense. You were all fools to believe me. So it is all true. Mm. You betrayed me, but you are still my friend, Beef. I won't let you die like this. Oh no, please. I know your voice is hard to do, but still. I only hope you will become a better person. It is. What will you puny cops do about it? Mm. Oh no. I'm not going to like what I'm going to see. Beef, I hope that you make a lot of friends. <laughs> yeah, 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 and pigs will fly. She's going to kill them all first. Huh? Damn it, I can't choke it. Oh, that poor thing. I hope I will be able to smile every day. Wow, the old lady couldn't kill it. Haha, <laughs> let me try. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. I hope that fine love you deserve to show kindness to others. I couldn't. Wait, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't cut through it even when I kicked it in. I'll take the shot. Oh, okay. I hope you remember me. Oh, this poor sock. <laughs> no sock would have to deal with this in real life anyway. I won't forget you. Mm. Oh no, he's dissolving. <laughs> Socks do that, by the way. The magic left and Rooster finally gave out. No! Oh, oh, yeah, Beef is a demon. Everyone's like, oh, justice is served. And then Beef is just like, I am justice. Oh no. It is what it is. Sometimes saving someone doesn't feel good. Oh, okay. Let's go. This report won't be fun to write. I'm not sure who will even believe it. You guys didn't even know Rooster that well. Shouldn't we call the cleaners? No, it's fading on its own. There is nothing to clean. One less thing to do. You twat! I hate you! I, I love that sock! That sock was magical! Now Beef is... On her own. I doubt the, 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 the game doesn't end like this, surely. She's have her brain erased first. Good, I might actually enjoy it. I like Rooster. But then, like, I like Beef as well. I, I feel kind of betrayed by Beef, but it is kind of what Beef does. Alright, I'm going to keep going a bit more. Because I'd like to get this all done in four parts. I've got a feeling another chapter's coming. So, one less thing to deal with. How annoying. I'm glad he's gone now. Oh, you twat. Just you watch. I'll be the most ruthless officer. Yep, or you'll be disabled. You'll be disabled because you won't have a brain. I feel free now. Without a conscience. Ah, uh, okay, so because Rooster's dead, she doesn't feel anything anymore. And so, time passed. Ah, oh, we're back at Brot's Breads. Yeah! Oh, good. Are we going to see our dear... Barnabas? Okay, I, I know I said I'll make this last a bit longer, but I didn't expect this. What the hell is going on here? What What's happening to the bread? We shall see that in the next episode. Well, okay, I decided to end on a cliffhanger after all. Um, this is reaching its end game, and I'm really curious to see what will happen. But again, like, I've got a feeling Beef is going to die, or she's going to forget everything, or something along the lines of that. Like, I think we're going to see Beef's death. I just don't know how it's going to occur. But again, like, keep watching. It's getting good, guys. It's getting good, chicks and mates. But anyway, if you can't wait, there'll be a game link in the description down below. And without further ado, look for the books, subscribe to your channel. Until next time, see ya.